Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is Whip Weekend number 222. It's Friday, August 23rd, and it's about 9.30 in the morning. Uh, husband's gone to work already. I had a quick shower, and I'm doing much better this week. I've rested a lot, and first time I've done my hair. <laughs> so, uh, it's... Um, I'm feeling more myself this week. Uh, Monday, I uh, went to the doctor's. I got my uh, x-ray report. I couldn't believe she called me uh, Monday morning, said she already got it because I had gone on Friday to uh, get my x-ray done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I had an appointment Monday afternoon, so that was great. Uh, there is no issues except for, you know, I'm 63 now, so deterioration in... Uh, you know, the uh, vertebrae is in my back, but nothing's pinched, nothing's bulging. So uh, I'm doing much better. It um, has moved into my left um, thigh and in my groin a little bit. And it's like a, just a constant ache right now. So uh, she's told me to switch from ice to heat. So I've been heating it and um, I'll be doing that as soon as I finish this video. Um, I am doing better, but not 100% yet. So I'm so happy that there's no issues in my back that's going to be permanent. It's just, I must have tweaked something or pinched a nerve or she, the doctor's not even sure. So I'm so happy about that. And on Tuesday, uh, it was my daughter's um, baseball party here. We tied and we are now in third place. So we've moved up uh, the standings and everyone's happy about that. And um, we had an amazing party. There were 13 women and six men here in the backyard. I did chicken on skewers. And my daughter and I did it all together. And it was margarita night. Even though it was cold, we still had our margaritas. And I went through three huge bottles of margarita mixed with the tequila in it. Like, I can't believe how much the girls drank. But they all had rides home. There were a couple girls that uh, didn't drink. So we always make sure... And um, we had so much fun. I uh, mixed the margarita mix in a blender and crushed the ice. And it's like just so refreshing and so cool. And for our non-drinkers, I did uh, crushed lemonade. So it was really good. And it was a very late night. And my daughter didn't end up leaving here till after midnight. And, um, you know, we were cleaning up a bit. And I said, you know, go home. You have to work. I'll do it the next day. So basically Wednesday, I started to clean my house. And it, um, I did it slowly. And my house needed it. It had been almost three weeks that I hadn't dusted or vacuumed or anything because I just couldn't. Uh, so got all that done. My house is looking back to normal again. I'm so happy about that. So I didn't get much uh, crocheting or crafts done in the first couple of days. But I did get some done. As always, I always do it uh, in the evenings while we're watching a baseball game or, or a show on TV. And then Thursday, yesterday, was my daughter's birthday. I didn't see her. I talked on the phone with her on um, FaceTime, you know, video talk. And uh, for her birthday, her and her daughter went and got pedicures. And I got some great pictures of them uh, getting their pedicures. So she had a wonderful day. And they're off camping for the week. And it's only about an hour away, so my daughter's going to come. We have a game on Monday, and she's going to come and uh, play ball and then head back up to the uh, cottage site. They're gone for the week. So this is their last um, camping trip before school starts. I know in October she's got an adult one, so I'll be having Paige for the weekend. And that's it this afternoon. My dad and I are going to head down to a little place right on the lake called Hutch's. It's a fish and chip shop. It's been there forever. I remember my parents taking us down there when we used to swim in Lake Ontario. So we'd go swimming for the day and then have fish and chips for dinner there and then head on back home. But um, I love fish and chips. So does my stepdad. My husband does not. So we thought, you know what? Let's go for lunch. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon. Um, he's doing really well. We have one more doctor appointment um, at the hospital, I think, next Friday. 
and we have to be there for seven o'clock. So, but my dad is driving now because his hip surgery was on his left hip. So he is driving. So he'll pick me up on the way. So I don't have to go down and then come back past my house to go to the hospital. So, uh, I, and then I think he's on his own. He's doing well. He says it still hurts quite a bit. And, um, he's in, muddling along. He's doing a lot of walking. So we'll see this afternoon how he's doing. I, I haven't seen him at all this week. So I'm looking forward to our lunch together. And that's it for my personal news. The uh, one thing I'd like to mention is it's almost the end of the month again. And uh, don't forget to send in your pictures for your book cover inspiration, Mal. And um, I will be doing that next week. I'm not sure when I'm going to put it out. It might come out on the second on the Monday uh, because the first, I believe, is a Sunday. And um, I'll be busy this weekend. So I won't be out or next weekend. So I won't be able to be putting uh, a video together. So I'll be probably making it Monday morning. And once it's all edited by adding the pictures and stuff and um, uploaded to YouTube, then I'll just release it on the Monday. So that's it. Uh, so, yep, send your pictures in. And let's get started with our whips this week. So my whips. My first is my paint by number. I've been doing it. It's at the last stages. You really can't tell a difference, you know, where there's just a few items left to uh, put in. So this takes the longest because you're constantly cleaning your brush and changing colors. So I'm going to start by, you know, start with the number one and try and find all the number ones and go through. I think there's 23 colors in here. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing uh, next week on my paint by numbers and my cross stitch. I have worked on it a couple mornings. There's a big fluff flying around. It's going to get in front of the camera soon. There it goes. <laughs> um... My cross stitch, I have been working on it, but um, like the paint by number, it's one, I can see my fluff flying around. It's actually cat hair, I think. Um, it's, you know, a couple uh, stitches here and a couple stitches there. So you're constantly starting and stopping. So um, I'll uh, show you another week or two how far I've progressed on that, but I'm enjoying doing that. And then I started doing... Uh, some diamond painting. I uh, showed you a few weeks ago that I had purchased uh, some Christmas cards on Amazon that are diamond painting. And let me take the plastic off. I've just started them this morning. And I've gotten, the glare is awful. So I've gotten some of the white done on his coat and the brown in his pants. So I'll be working on this for the next few weeks. And uh, I love the idea that I can uh, contribute to the cards. So at Christmas time, I'll be sending out uh, cards. And then my socks. I um, Last time I saw you, I said I was going to do it on uh, two separate uh, needles, the uh, two socks. But you know what? I decided, let me try this. So I did put them together. I finally watched the video and I put them together. So these are my socks that I've been working on and I have done, I just put the stitch marker in this morning so I know where how much I have done. I have done 20 rounds of the legs so far. So I, I do mine 50 rounds of the legs, so another 30 to go. And I'm loving the color of this and actually it's turning out really well today. Just a little bit brighter. There we go. And I turned my overhead light off and the colors, I, I checked a couple of colors and they seem to uh, be uh, really well. Like that's a perfect color of this yarn, I'm just showing you the yarn. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the socks and uh, it's a little fiddly. And I think I prefer doing one sock at a time, but the next pair of socks I'll do, I'll like do them 10 rows here, 10 rows here, 10 rows here, 10 rows here on two separate uh, needles. And the needles I use are Chai Gu. And I don't think I'm going to be able to see. I believe they're a US 1, which is 2.25 millimeters. It is actually engraved on the needles. But 
my eyesight is poor and the lights are off above me, so I can't see. I will put it in the uh, description box below what size needles I'm using. But I am using the recommended needle size that K from the Crazy Sock Lady uses and um, they turn out great. So uh, I'm enjoying this. I just feel I'm so slow, but I think I'm doing okay. I wish I could knit faster and we'll uh, practice mix. Uh, will help me with that. So that's my sock project that I'm working on. And then my other whip uh, project I'm working on, I um, started the movie marquee and I'll put it up there. It's um, Oscar, I believe. And it's got whites, grays and blacks and a little bit of red in there. So I've decided, and I'm going to give this to my mother-in-law because I know she's going to love it. And that way she'll have a wheelchair lap again that she could, you know, when one's in the wash, she can have another one. What I'm doing is I am doing, and I can't remember this stitch, and I will put it up here, herringbone stitch. So I'm making panels. They are 10 inches across and 13 or 12 inches, I believe 12 inches down. So it will work out to be a good lap gain size for us. She's very short. So I've finished my first three panels. I need to do six more. Oh, I've got some of them one way and some the other way. So that's one side of it. And then more of the white shows on that side. So I think I will join this with uh, a little bit of red and then put a little red border around it. So that's what I'm working on and I'm having so much fun with this. I've got some upside down here. I'm just going to flip them over. So three panels and six more to go. So I started that. I've been working on, I can't believe how fast this month is going. I've been working quite a bit on my uh, <clears throat> book cover inspiration blanket. Uh, I'm really enjoying the stitch, but it's time consuming because every, every, second row is single crochets so uh it's growing slowly so i've been putting more of my effort and time into that but i'm really enjoying this i love the way it's turning out and i was talking to my daughter and um i'm not sure but i'll figure it out i am going to make my granddaughter a um herringbone skirt with the purple with a dark purple and a pale pink and I'm going to make it into a skirt. I'll do um, a single crochet at the top in the inches of her waist. And then I will fold it over so I can put some elastic in it. And then increase right away with some single crochets so it flares out a bit. bit and then I can make a skirt for her. So Amanda thinks that uh, Paige will love it because in purple pit, dark purple and pale pink it'll look fabulous and then she can wear it with tights in the winter time so that's what i'm going to do so this is practice but i'm going to give this uh once this is completed to my mother-in-law because i think she'll really like it so that's the only whip that i'm showing right now other than my uh book cover inspiration so those are my whips this week um I'm dying to make, but I want to get these projects done. I'm dying to make one of those little chickens that everybody's making. And um, someone from our uh, subscribers sent me, I'm going to actually mention her name because uh, she told me where to find the pattern. Let me see where I can find it. And it was uh, Loretta. Loretta, thank you. I am definitely going to get to it. I've been dying to do it for such a long time. But um, everything else gets in the way first. And uh, I'm dying to make that little chicken. So once I get that chicken done, I will definitely show you. So let's move on to our finished items. So I finished the coasters, the Halloween coasters. And I'll put a picture up here of the five that I finished this week. So it's uh, the skull, which I think is cute. And just happy Halloween. And, and there's several different uh, oranges in here. And then enter if you dare. 
and then another Happy Halloween. So I really enjoy doing these and they take no time at all. I can get one of these done in the mornings while I'm watching some of my videos. So I'm really, really pleased with how these turned out. And I do have, a, these are going to be for my grand, for my daughter, but my granddaughter. And uh, they come in a nice little uh, container. So uh, that'll be great for her Halloween uh, decor because they go all out at Halloween. And then I have another one for Christmas uh, with uh, the Grinch. And those are for me because I go all in at Christmas time. So that's my first finished item. And then the next finished item is my square for um, Manic Mom Amusing. Neva is doing a album a week and I'm doing a square a week. And it's not here. I'm going to have to put your pause for a minute. Just a moment. And I'm back. I left it in the uh, in my family room where I made it last night. So hopefully the album is up. It is the Thompson Twins. I've never heard of the Thompson Twins, but uh, this is my square for the Thompson Twins. And I got the yellow out of the earth and there's several different blues. So I, I, it actually is a... Uh, a fading blue around the outside, but uh, it was all in the dark blue and some grays. And this pink is actually darker. There we go. Uh, the pink is, um, I think it's his hair, but I'm not sure. But uh, this is one of the squares that I make every week. So I love doing this. And I also um, join some of the squares for a wheelchair lap band. So this is uh, what I did. I took uh, six of the squares and joined them. And this is my, I think my favorite square so far with the pinks, whites, and grays. So this is a blanket here. I uh, joined it with um, Pound of Love. And I can't remember the number. I've already put the yarn back upstairs. And what I did is I went around every square and added another row of granny squares in blue and then I joined it with the continuous joy. So, oh, my kitty cat woke up. She's here beside me. So that's the uh, blanket. Yes, it is. And I love the way these are turning out. I think they're so pretty. And um, I've got enough to make another blanket, but some of the colors just don't go. So I've been doing more, you know, trying to put the colors together. So if I get a few more that are more earthy tones, then I'll be able to do another, uh, another uh, blanket. Kitty Cat has been very needy lately, but that's okay. We love her. And um, so surprised how much fur she has. And after not vacuuming for uh, almost three weeks, it was really, really bad. So, uh, she wakes up and she wants to come see her mommy. Oh, she's backing up. She's afraid to jump from one chair onto my lap. So, uh, but, uh, we love her and, um, pain in the butt every time I pick up my yarn because she thinks it's hers and she pounces on it. And, um, my husband just laughs. We did get, I did get this kitty cat for my husband for his birthday. It's going to a year and a half ago, and um, she's a mama's girl. She likes spending time with her mommy. So she wakes up, and she wants to be pet, and as soon as I touch her, she starts purring all the time. So uh, you're going to go down? You're going to go to that chair. I've got chairs on either side of me. This is my shawl that I wear in the morning. It's been quite chilly, and um, I just have it over the chair. Because my jammies, I still have my summer jammies. I don't have any flannel out yet. We've had a very cold week. I'm gonna, I'm saying cold, but it's you know not hot. But I believe that the weather is going back up and it's going to get quite hot and uh, humid again. So, uh, am I looking forward to it? No, I've enjoyed this week so much. So that's it for this week. And like I said, I will be doing my book cover inspiration wrap up. For the month and um but i believe it's going to be after next week's video it'll be the first or the second of uh next week 
So I hope you have a wonderful whip weekend and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.